Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back. I am so excited to be sharing with you my garage makeover today. Buckle up and make sure you have your morning coffee because this is going to be a long one. This was such a tough DIY, but this video is filled with some really amazing budget-friendly organization ideas, tons of cleaning and decluttering, and some really fun DIY projects. It probably doesn't look too bad. You're getting a lot of before and afters here, but imagine like our large Ford Explorer pulled into the middle. The space just felt so cluttered, so claustrophobic, and we're so excited to finally have it perfectly organized. We're starting out by doing a little bit of organization. This is really a trust the process project, so just keep that in mind as you're watching this video. We did have to shuffle things around so many different times. We have lots of different piles. We have a donation pile, items to sell pile, also like just trash and recycling. There was just a lot of shuffling around that happened, so we'll be moving things out of the frame and then you'll see them back in the frame just because we worked on so many different areas at different times. This project was extra tough because it's so hot outside because the entire country is facing a heat wave right now but I do live in Florida right here is a box of Christmas Ray done and I was trying to decide do I just want to put it out for bulk day am I gonna to try to sell it and also pulling out my Santa's cookie canister that Brian said I didn't need but I knew that I really wanted to keep I just don't really love these Ray done items anymore they don't spark joy so I put this whole box in the sell pile giant commercial printers have literally been haunting Brian and I for like the last two and a half years. They're from when Brian had his like bigger real estate business. He did all of these like direct mailers and the companies don't want the machines back. He had a lease on them. So we've been trying to liquidate them. It's just really tough to find people who need these types of printers. So we are gonna be moving those out of the way, but they are literally 50 plus pounds, each of them. Some of them are probably closer to 100 pounds and we've moved them so many different times. We're trying to clear off this back wall because that is going to be a big focus of this makeover. There's gonna be a lot happening on that back wall. So we need to get it cleared off as soon as possible. You may notice our outfits changed. We we did this project over several days because we have a four month old and trying to balance her schedule while she's going through a sleep regression and not really having any family or a ton of help available to us in Florida made it a little bit difficult and us only able to work on it during her nap times, which is okay because she's the best baby ever. Okay, so this just came. We got it off of Facebook Marketplace for a hundred bucks. Um, and then we did pay the guy a hundred dollars to bring it to us because it was a little bit too far and it would not fit in our car. So 200 bucks for this, which is so nice. It has two really nice drawers and then all these cubbies, which we have big plans for. And we have, yeah, it's very heavy, so it's good quality. But we have big plans for this piece. So excited about it. It's like the perfect size. It's really heavy, good quality, so excited. He found it on Facebook Marketplace, go Brian. I tasked Brian with finding the fridge, which we also got at Facebook Marketplace. And My decisiveness is a double-edged sword when it comes to Facebook, but this time it was a win. It was, yeah, I'm so Sometimes excited. Sometimes I'm too quick to jump and don't get the right things. All right, Brian went down for a nap, it's time to get to work. Let's do it. The first budget-friendly DIY we're going to tackle are these pegboards. You can get these in a couple different colors. We picked ours up at Lowe's, but we decided to go with the brown unfinished because they were the most budget-friendly. And we're going to be using Beyond Paint to transform them. If you haven't seen my other videos with Beyond Paint, and thank you to Beyond Paint for sponsoring this video, it is the ultimate DIY paint. It requires no sanding, no stripping, and no priming. So it's like no muss, no fuss, super easy application. Beyond Paint will nearly bond to any surface except for walls like cabinets furniture countertops vanities even glazed tile so it is the perfect paint for DIYers and seasoned pros as well as beginners beyond paint is engineered to work for indoor and outdoor projects so no matter what you have in mind beyond paint is going to be perfect it's an all-in-one bonder primer and finisher that cures to a really durable and washable surface in just two coats I have another absolutely massive beyond paint project a little bit later in the video so we're gonna be talking more about why I love it so much but if you are ready to 
tackle your DIY projects right now, Beyond Paint is going to be offering a special gift for today's viewers. They're going to be offering 10% off all paint products at beyondpaint.com with the code Katie. All of the info will be in the description down below, so go ahead and grab your Beyond Paint today. But we have some other projects to get to, and I can't wait to show you my other big DIY. Pegboards were one item we knew we absolutely wanted in our garage makeover because it's such a fun way to display your tools and a really good way to just know exactly what you have. Brian and I have such a random mix of tools. I don't think I've ever talked about this on my YouTube channel, but in 2020, the summer of 2020, when we had only been dating for a few months, we actually flipped a home together in downtown Orlando. It was like a 700 square foot two bedroom bungalow. It was on a huge lot. It had the best backyard and it was just a small little house. Actually, a firefighter ended up purchasing it. It was such a fun experience, honestly, such a true test of our relationship and we learned so much. But because of that project, we just have so many random tools that we don't get to use very often and honestly, a lot of the times forget that we have. So putting up the pegboards was a great way to really display everything. With all of that area cleaned out, this is the wall that we want to have as like the home of our big DIY projects. I just feel like every good family needs a garage fridge, so it was finally time for us to get one just to hold all of our favorite beverages and to get a workbench since we do love to do DIYs. You'll notice that we love to just measure a ton. We looked at what the height of our new workbench is versus the depth of the fridge just to see where it would be perfect for the pegboards to go. I will say drilling through concrete is pretty difficult. It's best if you have an impact drill, which we don't have. There are attachments and specific drill bits like the one here that you can get to help make the process a little bit easier but drilling through concrete is pretty complicated you have to pre-drill the holes with multiple different sizes of concrete drill bits I show a little bit of the process here but definitely search specific YouTube videos for how to's on how to do that safely and efficiently he is just pre-drilling all of the holes and then we are going to get these babies hung up we are so excited it was so exciting to start to see this project come together even if this was just one little step Another thing we got on the Facebook Marketplace is this fridge. How much was it? 125, 150. I really like it because it's stainless steel and then has like the black accents with like the handles and it's black on the sides. It just needs a decent scrub like any used fridge would, but honestly, it's a steel. We already know that it cools really well. So we're gonna get it all scrubbed down, hose it out, and then fill it with all of our favorite drinks. You know
This fridge was such a find. I love that it's the stainless steel with the black. It's exactly what I wanted, but because it was used, it did have that like someone else's fridge smell, if you know what I'm talking about. So we wanted to really scrub every single inch down and get it super clean. First, I sprayed it with the like hydrogen peroxide Lysol spray. If you've never tried it, we absolutely love it. It doesn't have like the harsh bleach chemicals and it doesn't have that harsh chemical smell. We just love it. It's our favorite spray. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend. So I put that in there first, let it sit for a few minutes and then hose it out with like the jet setting like the really harsh stream because there was some kind of like caked on grime and you'll just see me redoing that process over and over and over again scrubbing every single inch to get the fridge really clean and ready for all of our stuff seriously i've never scrubbed something so thoroughly in my entire life but this was such an amazing find under 150 dollars if you're looking for a garage fridge or any new appliance a set of washer and dryer just anything check Facebook marketplace I feel like I'm the Facebook marketplace queen I love selling things on Facebook marketplace I love buying things on Facebook marketplace I love sending Brian to random places at random times of the day to go and pick things up for me it's just the best like one man's trash is truly another man's treasure and you can find so many treasures on the Facebook marketplace if you love Facebook marketplace as much as I clearly do please leave your best score down below like what was your favorite item you ever got from Facebook marketplace this fridge was a really great find as well as the workbench that we got for a hundred bucks a complete steal especially when you see it totally transformed we also have restoration hardware bar stools that i got from facebook marketplace for like all three less than the original price of one but if you have a favorite find please leave it in the comments down below to convince other people that they need to start checking there if they're looking for something it's hard to believe in love so never inside is squeaky clean I'm just gonna leave it for a couple hours just to dry out and maybe help with the smell a little bit more I can't tell if it smells <laughs> anymore I don't think it does or that it should but we're gonna let it dry out for a few hours and then I'm also gonna clean the outside of it too but probably not until we move it into place best $125 Facebook marketplace purchase yet officially time to tackle our next big paint project this workbench that we got off Facebook marketplace like I said for a hundred bucks it is absolutely massive oh also Brian wanted me to show you that if you're getting a garage fridge and you're not gonna use the water you can cut the water line off and we also did take out the ice maker we just don't plan to use those features in the fridge so we decided to just take them out we are moving the fridge out of the way so that we can move the workbench closer to the middle because we have a lot of work to do on this first things first putting down the brown paper again to protect the floors you can get rolls of this at like paint stores or Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever hardware store you like to shop at for super cheap and it's a great way to protect the floors. We actually were planning to epoxy the garage floors but that would have required us taking out all of the shelving and everything in them and I just was not up for the challenge. I was absolutely dreading moving this piece of furniture because we did have to lift it off of a moving truck and it was, I'm not even kidding, probably like three to 400 pounds. I left the faces of struggle in so that you could really see like how heavy it was but that just means it is is really good quality they just don't make stuff like this anymore I'm actually pretty sure the guy that we bought it from made it and we just love it so much it has the cubbies on both sides but because we only ever plan to use it up against a wall um, we don't ever plan to use it as like an island there's no need for me to paint the other side I just really wanted to save time and also limit the amount of time that I'm outside because it was just brutally hot as I've mentioned first things first though I'm really giving it a good clean and scrub scrubbing it down with a deep 
degreaser because if you're using Beyond Paint, you have to make sure the surface that you're painting is degreased, completely clean and wax free for the paint to be able to adhere properly. So I'm going in, wiping it and scraping it down because I think there was a little bit of like glue and some paint flex stuck to it. So first things first, getting it completely cleaned and that's the only prep work that you have to do with Beyond Paint, which I love. drawers were particularly grimy which is disgusting but makes for some very satisfying cleaning content I don't do a ton of cleaning content on my channel I feel like now and then I do like organizing type videos mostly about like my decor and different areas of my home but I never really do cleaning videos I have in the past I mean you guys could let me know if you would want to see them more but I feel like there's other channels that do it so much better one that I absolutely love a channel that's kind of similar to mine but she does all like cleaning organizing videos is Loving Life as Megan who is such a great friend of mine so if you love cleaning content if you find it really relaxing you'll definitely love her videos her voice is also just like very calming and I just think you guys will love her so I'll leave her channel down below her and I have just become great friends over the years and I feel like if you're looking for cleaning content she is the queen this entire workbench is getting a makeover starting with the top I am painting the top licorice it's the same beyond paint shade that I just used on the pegboards and the one that I used in my DIY thrift flip video if you guys missed that, I flipped Ethan Allen nightstands that I found at Goodwill for $25, which was already literally the find of the century. I flipped them into a McGee & Co. nightstand dupe that are like $1,400. Definitely check that video out. You guys loved it so much that I'm planning to do another one soon. With that first coat done, we are moving on to the body of the workbench, and I'm painting it this absolutely stunning color called Deep Blue from Beyond Paint. They have so many different shades. I'm confident that no matter what project, you're trying to accomplish they're going to have a shade that you'll love so I am applying this to the entire body of the workbench I'm going to use a chip brush to cut in the entire piece of furniture and then for the roller I'm going to use a 3 8 microfiber nap roller that is what beyond paint recommends I will say though that their paint formulation makes it really easy because it's slightly textured to help eliminate brush marks and conceal imperfections they do sell paint kits on their website which make it really easy it's everything that you need all in one convenient kit and that is what I used for my pieces. I normally am someone who hates tedious tasks, but I really love painting as a lot of you guys probably know. We've done so many paint projects. We literally painted our entire house and it did take a long time. It's not something that happened overnight, but I just really enjoy it. I find it to be kind of therapeutic. You'll have to let me know down below if you feel the same or if there is like another home project that you love doing. With Beyond Paint, it's recommended that you wait two to four hours between coats until it is dry to the touch. So we're giving that whole first coat plenty of time to dry and here Brian is getting ready to hang up some of the other items that we're gonna be hanging. We wanted to get a lot of stuff off of the floor. So like the ladder, our old workbenches, our beach chairs, you're gonna see that we're gonna be hanging all of those items. We did pick up all of these hooks at Lowe's and we found them in the same section where we found these pegboard accessories but you can definitely google it and see where they're located in your store they were super affordable and it looks so much nicer having them up off of the ground
we got this pegboard accessory kit at Lowe's. It was super affordable and I think it's like a 45 piece kit. I think it was around $11. And then we did get some like individual pieces to fit our specific needs and the tools that we knew that we had. This is a lot of trial and error trying to figure out how you want it. It's almost like a little puzzle. It was really, really fun to organize this. And I just, like I said, I think it looks so nice. It's such a fun way to hang and organize your tools. You can really see everything you have and they're way more accessible. Expectation versus reality will get you. Just trust the process. That's what I kept telling myself the entire time. One side was perfectly organized and looking great, and the other side was just hot mess express. Brian is just moving the fridge into place. We wanted to get it plugged in and cooled down so that it would be ready for when we wanted to put all of our drinks. We stocked up on all of our favorite beverages to be able to fill the fridge for the first time. It has been a few hours, so it was time for me to apply the second coat of the Beyond Paint. For all the paint projects I've done, two coats has been great, but definitely just see what your project is. It could take between two and three. Just really depends what the project is, what color you're painting versus what you're going over, and all of those things. You might notice that it might look a little bit streaky while it's still drying, but just give it a few minutes. It dries so beautifully because of the way the paint is formulated. I could probably go on and on all day about how amazing this paint is. I seriously recommend it to everyone. So if you have any DIYs you're thinking about doing, this is the paint I would recommend. You can definitely check out all of the info in the description down below if you want to pick some up today. Because this is so sped up, you can see it drying and how beautifully it dries. Brian was helping me apply the second coat because Bryn went down for a nap which made it go by so much faster but look how amazing this is looking like it seriously looks so so good think about like the grimy white workbench it was like just a few hours ago I had originally planned to put some leftover hardware from my kitchen onto the piece because I just knew that black hardware would look a lot better than the white gold would have been a really good option as well but the holes didn't line up and I didn't want to go through the whole process of filling them and then drilling new holes so I decided to just clean up and spray paint the ones that came on the piece and they completely transformed the look and really just were the finishing touch that it needed. Just screwed those back on and that is the workbench DIY. Beyond Paint does sell a sealer that you're supposed to use for countertops. I didn't have it for this video but I did order it and I'm gonna seal the countertops just to make sure they are super long lasting. It is so funny seeing the backside now that we've transformed the front. Like the look is completely changed and we are just obsessed with it. The piece of furniture is so heavy that I feel like it's just gonna end up coming with the house whenever the owners decide to sell it and I did want to talk about too I always get a lot of comments of people saying well why would you do all these projects spend the time and money if you don't own the house and that's definitely a fair question I think I've answered it a few times but we just want to make it our home while we live here we don't regret any of the projects that we've done but we do look forward to having our own house and our own space to be able to do literally whatever we want to someday really soon fruits of our labor really start to shine. We're gonna be doing lots of cleaning and organizing. Starting with this top drawer, I'm going to be putting all of my favorite paint accessories. We have extra rags, sanders, rollers, all items like that. Because we do paint a lot, I have so many painting accessories and these are just some of them. 
I just love seeing it all organized and these drawers are really deep which is super nice in this bottom drawer I put our tool bags most of the time when you buy a tool it comes with a bag our like industrial sander knee pads that are really great to have around and some extra paint trays if you've seen my other makeover videos, you know that it has to be part functional, but also part stylish. I wanted things arranged in a pretty particular way. What does bug me is that we have different brands for different tools. There's not really a tool brand that makes every type of tool. So we have some Cobalt, some Craftsman, some Ryobi. Eventually, I think I'd love to get all Ryobi. While I was organizing that, Brian hung up this awesome bike hook, which gave us some room underneath it to be able to organize things. We have dubbed this our fun corner, so everything Thing we use for fun well besides for those because those are our outdoor furniture covers but we were putting all of our fun stuff over here like coolers that we would take to the beach our bags boards these are custom bag boards that someone made and painted for Brian's so we put these over there we also put like our tennis rackets bocce ball set all things like that that you need to have fun in Florida okay, try to be brave. you have so much to say take control of I'm super excited to fill you in on this vacuum right here in a video next week. I've been testing it out for about a month now. Spoiler alert, we really love it, but I'm going to tell you all about it in a video coming up next week. I think you guys are really going to love it, and it's brand new. It's just about to hit the market, and we have another vacuum type product from the same company, and they're both just absolutely amazing. It came with this really easy and convenient mounting template, so you know exactly how far apart to put the screws, and then it also comes with this charging station and a spot for all of the extra attachments look how beautiful and stylish that looks we have another cordless vacuum that we love that's upstairs in our house so we decided to put this one in the garage this was just like the perfect spot for it and it is just whew, it's so beautiful fridge if it wasn't filled with all of our favorite beverages so we have like a million and one bubblies because if you know me I am obsessed with bubbly also diet coke a newfound addiction thanks to my pregnancy it's a pregnancy craving that I haven't been able to kick also some Miller lights for Brian and our favorite protein shakes I'm hesitant to even tell you about them if you haven't tried them because they're hard enough to get but they are so delicious
ahead and tackled some of these smaller organizational projects because at the end of the day, he's the one who's gonna be a lot more particular about where these items actually are. We're both pretty particular people, but about very different things, which works in our favor a lot of the time. But don't get me wrong, we definitely butt heads a lot during this makeover. It just was such a big project, and I think we both felt pretty stressed about getting it done and wanting it to look a certain way, and we couldn't be more happy with it. On the top of the workbench, we did decide to add a fan. I can just see us doing so many projects out here and I'm super excited. This is us debating about if we can put this plant on here. Brian said no way. So we compromised and put it on the other side to help hide the power strip. We also added this nice decorative woven basket. It has a lot of items that we reach for super often like command strips and some extra Gorilla Glue. This table fit perfectly in this spot because of the ledge on the workbench, which was awesome. And then another decoration we compromised on was this extra leftover hanging basket that we have from Target. I can definitely link that down below if you guys want. It was like a little bit too long though. We didn't like that it was hanging over the protractor. So Brian tried at first to like stuff it in and we thought it looked ridiculous. So I just decided to give it a haircut. You know what? DIY baby. are still rocking that charcoal grill life. I'm really hoping to be able to upgrade soon. I've been keeping a super close eye on all of the clearance deals. There is some amazing summer clearance happening out there. Moving my five gallon jugs over as well. We do live in Florida, so hurricane preparedness is really important. We always love to keep a ton of fresh water. We buy a new one every single year. We've been together for three years, so we have three. It's time for us to buy our fourth. Thank God we have not had to use them, but you just never know, and it's better to always be prepared. I'm giving this place a really good sweep. I feel like we have not really gotten into all the nooks and crannies in over a year and a half since we moved in. It's so crazy that we've been here for so long and I just look forward to all of the projects that we will do in here now that there is so much room for activities. Had some final organizational touches I wanted to make on these shelves but other than that that is a wrap on our garage makeover I feel like the befores just don't do it justice like if you put a Ford Explorer in the middle you would see how disorganized it was half the time you could barely even open the car doors now it is so organized it's so functional everything has a spot I am so anxious to hear all of your thoughts so please be sure to leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up if it gave you inspiration and ideas for your own garage and be sure to utilize places like Facebook marketplace Craigslist I think you will be so shocked at what you can find on there just have a little bit of creativity and know that you can make anything the way that you want it to be with things like beyond paint spray paint items like that you can do really easy and budget-friendly DIYs I know that you guys got this thank you all so much for being here today and every day I love you all so much and I'll see you next time bye guys